hi welcome back to my channel my name is chanel and today we are doing a week in my teacher life i have not done a full week in my teacher life before so i'm really really excited but today is monday and i have been having the most mondayest of mondays like Bruh. i really woke up today thinking that i was gonna have a good day and psych i don't know who i was fooling like i was only fooling myself but it has just been terrible one because i feel like i'm literally no joke going deaf in this ear like i cannot hear out of this ear at all it kind of feels like it's filled with like some liquid or something and i'm not sure i really have to go get it checked out but like class wise and teaching wise like those students today just were like not with it and i understand i really do and i really try to be as understanding as i possibly can because i know we are in may we have a few weeks left of school and i'm really trying to like get them to stay engaged for as long as i can because we have testing coming up and we are finishing units and i just want them to hold on just for a few more days and they are like tired they don't want to be here anymore and i completely understand that so managing that student engagement but like it also comes with classroom management and i am not good at classroom management at all and i really do try my best but it is just not my strongest suit and i really do try but it is something that i struggle with a lot so that has just been one of the biggest problems that i've been facing today but I am excited for today. I'm not going to let this Monday get to me because we are doing our after school fundraiser today. If you've watched one of my last videos, you would know that I talked all about this fundraiser, but I love it so much. Right here, it's like this giant box, if you can see, that's filled with all of the goodies. So my camera was just full of memories, so that's why I cut off like that. But that box was filled with so many goodies and we are selling bracelets. So let me go ahead and share with you the bracelets that we are actually selling. And I'm so excited because I love them so much. bracelets that we actually are selling here's just one like it is so cute i love the designs on it and these bracelets are to support artists in nicaragua and guatemala and all of the money goes right back to their communities and supports them as a whole if you are interested in any of this corporation or any of this organization and you would like to do this fundraiser in your school please make sure you check them out i will have them like down below but each of these bracelets sells for five dollars but i really have to go because we are selling them right after school and it's like one of my favorite things to do and i'm so happy that i get to do it but i'm in a rush because i gotta be there in like two minutes so I gotta go. hi today is tuesday and i just got done with like my whole teaching day i'm right now in my planning and i've had a better day compared to yesterday because yesterday was like the worst monday i think i've had in a really long time and today my classes were just more calm and they were more into it because like mondays is obviously like really exciting getting to see your friends after the weekend but i had like 
such an unfortunate time today and I'm not even going to explain why but it was like one obstacle on my whole entire Tuesday like other than that one thing that happened today like my Tuesday was overall really really good so I'm really trying to focus on the positives but next week I have my announced observation so I really have to focus on getting this lesson plan ready for my announced observation. My school gives three observations for teachers who are untenured and to be tenured in New York State you have to have four years of teaching experience in your school and I'm only on my second year right now so I have two unannounced observations and one announced observation so I have to continue working on that and I'm really excited for the lesson plan that I'm going to do but it is so time consuming to get this thing together so I'm going to work on that and hopefully I get this done because that's my goal for my planning period right now. This I had to fill out was a student learning, so these are just my standards for New York State. Then I had my student class profile, so these are just any instructional or teaching accommodations that would meet student needs. And I know I want to do this one, but I just have to continue filling out what I want it to be, so that's why I have that in red just for me. Then the learning outcomes, these are really, really easy. The assessments, again, everyone has those in their lesson planning. And then this right here, the cognitive engagement, this is just my actual lesson plan itself. So I have it split up between teacher actions and student actions and the estimated time for each one. And that's just how my teaching preparation program prepared me to complete a lesson planning. And I think it's really, really easy, so that's why I have that. And we're just talking about the dirty war in Argentina. And honestly, this war was so crazy with the dictator that they had at the time. And my students really do find an interest in learning about it and they are really really engaged throughout the whole entire thing so that's why I think doing it on this will be easy but I always plan extra as you can see I have a note right here like this will most likely be done at the end of class for tomorrow if we go through the lesson quickly we can begin the article and then right here this will probably lead into the next day and truthfully I always over plan just because that's the type of person I am we only have 45 minutes for my periods but I do see my students every single day however sometimes they work quite Quickly, sometimes I need more time so that's why I always over plan and I like to include that in my lesson because I know I'm probably not going to get to it but it's good to be over prepared in my opinion. Sometimes I think about myself I wish I was somewhere else Far from my fear, anxiety Far from my weakness I could be gone, gone But I'm just afraid I refuse to fix the problem And I think I can carry on so I just got back from taking Max on a walk and no joke, it may have been our best walk ever. I mean, if you have a puppy and you've been training them how to walk, you know just how difficult it actually is. And he was no joke, almost honestly perfect. And I'm just so proud because teaching him how to walk, especially teaching him how to heal, has been so incredibly difficult. But now that the fact that he's actually able to like walk almost perfectly while we're out, you guys don't even know the trouble we've been going through, but this has just like made my whole entire day. But I am home now, it is Wednesday, and I didn't vlog at school just because I had the worst headache all day. No joke, I went to bed literally at like 8.30 last night because I had such a bad headache, and I was just really, really tired. It was like the most tired I felt in a really long time. But I fell asleep at 8.30 and I woke up at 6.30 and I literally got 10 hours of sleep and I still woke up like a little bit tired. But I feel a lot better now. I literally took like four aspirins in the past 24 hours so I definitely do feel better. So I am going to make some dinner and then I'm probably going to shower and relax a little bit because it has been a day for me. to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long I woke up today 
and I swore that it was Friday, but sadly it's only Thursday. I swore that yesterday was Thursday for the longest time and I just cannot believe that it's only Thursday. It feels like Friday to me and it's so sad. The weather is so nice outside right now, but today my classes actually went by really, really well. Like today was a really quick day. We read and some of my students did Spanish conversations, so I gave them a prompt and I gave them a few questions to kind of guide their thinking and guide their conversations. But truthfully, it's very open-ended and they can talk about anything and it's going really really well but the only thing is that those conversations do take kind of a long time to grade because it's through a google doc and it's like they're emailing or texting each other which i enjoy doing it because i can actually get to all of them compared to doing them in class like if i were with them and they were doing them orally by a group then it would literally take me like two days to get through all of my students but you saw me earlier on like tuesday putting in my stuff for my announced observation which is next week and I finally submitted it all. What I showed you on Tuesday was like the very, very rough draft. And I kind of made it all nice and, you know, professional and stuff. So I went ahead and I submitted that. And this is the first time I'm having an observation and I'm truthfully not that worried about it and I'm not that scared. And that's a really big growth on my part because I would literally be there with like someone observing my room and I would feel like so nervous and I would be so anxious and it's like I couldn't speak at all. And my hands would be shaking the whole entire time. So to finally just put that in and feel confident with my lesson planning one, but two, know that she's gonna come in my room and I'm like not going to be so incredibly scared is such a plus that's so much growth on my end like you guys have no idea but we sold bracelets all this week so i have to go ahead and count that money i think we're at over 400 dollars right now which is really really good but truthfully i'm not quite sure so i have to double check that If I did my math correctly, we should have $405 earned and I have to go ahead and check this money box to make sure that we actually have $405 because if we don't, then something went wrong. <laughs> miscalculation somewhere but I think it's a good miscalculation because we are $20 over if I did my math right so I have to double check that but if someone did a donation then that's a good thing I'd rather be over than under so I have to go ahead and recount it but I'm hoping it's a good miscalculation and I have to double check my math so I just went and triple checked all the money again all my calculations all the math and I'm coming up with $425, but we're only supposed to have 405, and I'm not sure what happened, so I have to ask the students who are in charge of doing the lunch fundraising because they bring the stuff and they bring the money box over to the lunch and they sell stuff. So maybe someone had did a donation, and that's really, really common. We've gotten donations before, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. So I have to go ahead and clean up all of this. Obviously, I don't want money just hanging around in my room. It is the end of the day, though. It is my planning period. And after I do that, I'm probably going to work on my computer for a little bit, answer some emails, and then I'm gonna head out of here. The weather is so nice, you guys. Like, it is like 60 degrees. I'm so excited.